Hey guys, this is Ayana, the Thrifting Diva, out in San Diego, and I have with me Karen Childs of Two Stylish K's and Wendy from Just Jewels for You. And both of these awesome thrifting divas came out to the West Coast a couple weeks back to visit and just check out the thrifting scene on the West Coast because they're both in Atlanta. And I was really excited. We had an amazing, awesome, fun weekend. And I wanted to, we wanted to come back and show you guys some of the things that we got on that great thrifting weekend as we did some thrifting in San Diego and then up in Beverly Hills, Los Angeles, and then a little more in San Diego. So we wanted to come back and show you some of the things, some of the, our favorite finds. But I'm going to turn it over to... Karen, so she could talk a little bit about what her experience was like, and then Wendy, and then we'll show you the things that we got. Karen. Awesome. I had a great time thrifting in San Diego. Favorite place in Beverly Hills. I really enjoyed Zoe's Vintique. I really got some really great pieces there. I like vintage, so I was really excited to shop there and... Um, can't wait to show you what I scored. Awesome. Wendy. Okay. Um, I had a really, really great time uh, thrifting in Beverly Hills and Los Angeles. And I want to thank Anya for uh, sharing the moment with us and taking us around all these fabulous stores. Um, let's see. I really actually love Frock You Vintage for the reason being that they had the different errors. When you go into the store, it's it's already spread it out for you in um, eras. So if you're a 1920s person, I love vintage. You could go straight down to that um, area. And second was Zoe's Vintique. Um, I love Zoe. I've known Zoe for a while and finally got a chance to make it to her store. So that was a great experience. We should also say that, you know, we talk often on the phone and social media. And this was the first time we actually met each other in person. And it was as though we had known each other for years already. It just was such an awesome experience meeting you guys and obviously enjoying something that I love and that you guys love just as much. So it just, you know, icing on the cake. Check. My, my diva. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're talking about Zoe's Vintique. Actually, this chain that I'm wearing is from Zoe's Vintique. I, man, this thing is like, don't talk to me when I'm walking down the street in this. <laughs> <laughs> Queen. But no, I love it. And it's such a great statement necklace. Beautiful color. And it was really priced. I mean, she this thing I think was $25. So awesome, oh, wow. amazing price that I got from Zoe. But we'll talk a little more about the other piece that I got there. But Corinne, why don't you show us your favorite pieces? And if you remember the stores, um, we'll, we'll put down the names of the stores and the locations at the bottom so people, if they want to check it out in, in the future. But Corinne, take it away. Okay. Was I think the first store we went to was Buffalo Exchange, right? Yeah, so yes. So that's um, the one on Hillcrest. Back. Yes, in Hillcrest on Fifth Avenue. Yeah, and that was one of my favorites. I loved the um, the selection in there. And I know you always talk about it, so I was happy to finally go and really experience what you talk about. So, but I will admit, because I was told I better admit, um, this piece that I bought was originally picked up by Wendy. That's the Wendy piece. It is I think Wendy. that was number five. Was that number five or four? This was the first one. Oh, okay. Make it. it. <laughs> Look at the color and the pleating. Yes. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. That's this a good piece. Only, this was only $15.50. $15 so, yeah. you know, let's talk, you know, prices. Because I know you guys have your quarter days. <laughs> dollar days. First of all, we shop everywhere, and I, I can speak for Wendy. We, we shop all the, the stores. Okay. We spend days. Those are our favorites, but we do <laughs> shop all price points, all types of stores, consignment vintage. We do, you know, have a nice um, array of stores. Okay. And wait, wait till you come here, <laughs> and you, see, you she'll, she'll only be at Park Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I, 
Yeah, because for me, fifteen dollars for a dress, that's crazy. And it's a beautiful dress, it fits you amazing. <laughs> so I won't hesitate to drop fifteen if something looks really good on me. Um you know, at the end of the day, it's still less than what I would have paid had it been brand new. Exactly. So this this is my favorite piece from um, Buffalo Exchange. Okay. Um, Wendy, what about yours? Um, Buffalo Exchange. Oops. I'm making a mess. Ooh. I can't remember yeah. this one. And I finally figured, can you see it? Yes. Yes. Okay. I think I know where I'm going to wear this dress, too. I just found out that Diana Ross will be in town in May. Oh! And I'm wearing it to the concert. Perfect. And this was only oh, this was fifteen dollars. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that was a great that was a great deal there. Oh, this in Buffalo Exchange that I really liked, and if you could see it, it's a sleeveless kimono. Yes, I remember that. This is um a, a very long one. It goes all the way down to. The, the ankles, so I love I loved it, and this was twelve dollars, and the other piece was some. Corinne and I switched jumpers. We both saw different jumpers, but um, they fit better. The opposite person fit better for the piece, so this was the one that I really like. This Aztec print um, fit great, perfect um, spring summer look for me, and I love jumpers, so I could never have too many of these. So. This was um this was nine dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then the second place we went to was Fuck You Vintage, um, and Karen, did you have anything from there that you wanted to show off? Yes, I got a sweater dress. It's a basic black. Pleated. Oh, I do remember this. Yeah, the pleats. Um, it also has like a little sash that you tie mm -hmm. around the waist. And this was this was twenty five. Really okay. thick um, wool. So definitely can't wait to wear it again in the fall. And what brand is this? David's David Doe, London, Paris, New York. So. I can imagine the stories behind this dress. Really? <laughs> and then on Friday, we a bus, um, a minivan, I guess, with eight of us, eight mm -hmm. thrifting divas in San Diego, went up to Los Angeles, and we hit up the stores in the Beverly Hills area. And the first place we went to was um, Goodwill. We went to Goodwill. Oh, yeah. Goodwill. Yeah. Can I preface? Can I preface this, please? Ayana called me, Corinne, the biggest Goodwill, Beverly Hills. I didn't even get to go through all the dresses. We need three hours. And I'm like, oh my God, I cannot wait to go to this Goodwill. It sounds amazing. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's well, a Goodwill boutique. It was, oh, yeah. No! Well, you know what I've noticed? Majority of the thrift stores are set up like boutiques. It's not like your regular thrift store. It has like this boutique feel to it. Yeah. yeah. Well, in San Diego, the Goodwills are not here. Well, I have to see what they're like in Atlanta because in yeah. San Diego, the Goodwills are a good size. But when I went to Los Angeles, that was the first time I was like, oh, a Goodwill this big? It was the first time I'd ever seen that. So for me, I had hit the Walmart of Goodwills. <laughs> Yeah, that one was. I mean, it was it was good, but um, I had my my hopes and dreams and desires. You know, I walked in there and I was like, "Is this the Goodwill Ayana called me in the middle of the night to tell me about?" But I did find. <laughs> Sad to say, I did really find um, some Kate Spade red pumps. Look at so that. I, I give you props. I give you props. I did find a really great designer piece. And these were these were thirty dollars. Not okay. bad, but less than what you would pay for at um at the retail price. And barely worn. Right. Still in good condition. Okay. <laughs> 
And Wendy, what about you? Any luck at this good, this small boutique Goodwill? No, it was a very cute small boutique Goodwill, though. I, I found. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been eyeing a trench oh, coat for a while, and I finally found one. This one oh, is yeah. Vera Brand, and I got it for ten bucks. Yes. Now that was the. Yeah, I remember. That's that a one. Very, it, I is, mean, it, it is a great quality coat. So. This was one of my favorites at the Goodwill. Okay. I have, so um, I had a couple things at the Goodwill, the boutique Goodwill. But, <laughs> um, but it's nicely set up, though. When you go in, it doesn't feel like a thrift store. Yes. Right. So I got, like, this, <laughs> I got this wide three-quarter length um, um, dress. And for me, white is just the color for my summer thing. Like, if I could wear something white every day, I would. I just think it's a great um, color on my complexion. Um, it's just, you know, it just looks crisp and fresh and summer. So this fit perfect. It has, like, a little – it looks almost like the old um, nurse's uniform yeah. back in the day, but it's yeah. really nice pockets, obviously. And then the other piece that I got that I really like there – was this um, peplum bl um, blouse? Oh, I remember. Can... Oh, yeah. And okay. the back is buttoned down in the back. Um, you know, really nice, fits perfect, and I can't wait to rock this. I mean, this is really cute to me. So these were my two. Oh, one other piece that I got there. Actually, Karen got it for me at the Goodwill there. She picked it up and she was like, "Oh, and it, these pumps, these heels, I guess." Oh, yes. Oh, aren't they gorgeous? They're really nice and um, definitely a great. I mean, they'll go well with anything I'm wearing, mm -hmm. especially with these um, my, my necklace right now. So that was my th three of my favorite pieces that I got at the Goodwill there. And then after the Goodwill, we did. Uh, I believe it was Discovery Shop in Beverly Hills, and um, Karen, I know Karen scored an amazing piece there seconds before I went to that rack. <laughs> Second. <laughs> Second. Are you ready, Karen? Can you see what you missed? I'm, I'm ready. Thrift and be in full effect. Go ahead. <laughs> I will say that store was not really one of my favorites, but it did have some quality pieces. I see it more for like a more mature woman versus right. you know someone in our um, in our age group. Okay, but this is the jumpsuit keyhole. Back is open. Oh my Pocket. god! <laughs> and look at the bottom. It's kind of banded at the bottom. So cute. No. So cute. Nice. In the back. I didn't see that on. Did you try that on? Of she course. did try it on. Oh, I didn't of course. See it. She did. And this one is by um by Zara. And it was the sale the sale that day was blue tags were fifty percent off. This yes. was blue tags, thirty dollars. Do the math. I paid fifteen bucks. I'm ready for my first white party of the season. Yeah. Okay. And so then after that, we had lunch, and then we moved on to this place called It's a Wrap, where they basically sell clothes from the television shows and the movie shows in the um, obviously out in Hollywood. And um, they act, the store is set up really nicely, and they have actually the names of the store, um, the shows that you're getting the pieces from. So it's kind of cool, especially if you could remember the actor or actress wearing the piece. And we definitely got some great pieces here too. So um, Wendy, why, did you get any? I don't remember I if you got any. Um, I, I got two items from there, but I only have one with me. I got this dress. It was only two dollars. It's so oh, yeah. it was like a paisley with purple, and it was. It says the view. Oh. So we got someone on the view. You oh. should Google that. Google paisley dress the view and see who wore it. Yeah. I don't know. I was more excited because I I found something 
from someone in a TV show. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm wearing a dress worn by someone on The View. <laughs> Find you a dollar dress? I didn't find my dollar dress, but I did find my two dollar dress. I mean, <laughs> I think that's a good sale for Beverly Hills. Come on. <laughs> I don't know who it's from. There's no tag on it though. Okay. Yeah. And Corinne? I unfortunately did not find anything as amazing, but. I did find some things for some other people, and they'll be showing it to you just in a, in a few minutes, I hope. <laughs> but I did get um, a clutch. I got two clutches. Was this one from there? Was this one from Yeah. This yeah, clutch was I, from I actually found that clutch for you, Corinne. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then she found another for herself in a, in, this, in a different color. Did you get a clutch? Right? Yeah, I, I, have a, I have that clutch in a different color, yep. So I got this clutch, really cute color. I love the gold trim. Right. And also I got this clutch from one of the other girls that was on the bus. <laughs> the bus. <laughs> I really had a hard time finding anything to fit me in that store. So, um... Yeah, people found these for me. Okay. Um, Corinne did, in fact, find me an amazing blazer in that store. And so it's actually a one from the Kardashian collection. I don't know what show it's from, but, I mean, who cares? This blazer looks amazing. It has some, you can't really see it that well, but when you put it on, the sleeves are um, puffy at this portion here, and it comes in. And fits almost like a, how a peplum style will fit, but really cute animal print. And then um, she also found me an, another blazer that I really like, this yellow blazer. doesn't have any um, buttons, but it fits perfect. And for me, I love blazers. I'm all about blazers, and this is one of those that I'm going to definitely do a lot with in the spring, um, summer months coming up is upon us. And then as she said, I did she did get me some um shoes also. Some isolas. These are really cute. Let's see if you can see them. Yeah, those are cute. Those are really cute. So she found these for me as well. Um that was what? Fifty I don't even see oh these were twelve dollars. Yeah. Yes. Twelve dollars great price. And also, as she says, the clutch that I love. I have. I just have a clutch fetish, so. <laughs> I looked in my as body. they can see, I love clutches. I think they just make an outfit. I'm just sorry. So that was what I found at It's a Wrap. And then we moved on to, I believe it was Council Thrift was next, right? Yeah. And Council so. Karen definitely found some stuff there. So what did you, what you wanted? You, oh, someone found something for Karen there, actually. I think, who found that? Hmm. Mm. Goddess herself, Wendy Derelis Joseph. She picked this up, it. saw it from the corner of my eyes, and I said, Wendy, <laughs> let me try it on first. <laughs> Like okay, <laughs> that's the worst when you're shopping with people who have very similar taste and um, size. You almost hope that it doesn't fit at times because you're like, <laughs> pass it over. <laughs> but, but it's well, good. Yeah. When pass it now. <laughs> so this was um, this was fifteen dollars. Love all the colors. Really, really pretty. And very pretty. I also got a pair of, y'all know I like jeans, some Hudson jeans. Mm -hmm. These were also, um, these were $15. Right. And I also got a um, a wool coat. A yes. Chanel, and I think that was like 15 as well. So Council Force was nice. Good selection. It was very intimate. <laughs> Yeah, it's very tight. I didn't understand their pricing, but you know what? Whatever. 
Things weren't priced. They just had a sign that said like seven dollars and up or something. Yeah, but when you get to the counter, they'll tell you something different. But it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, and that was the first time I had ever been there. I had never been there before. So actually, not. It's a wrap in Council Thrift. I had never been there before either. So. Okay. It was a learning experience for me also. But I will go back. Actually, Council Thrift will be one of those places I would go back to. Yeah. How come? I, have, I, did, I got a lot of cute pieces, and I didn't think the prices were ridiculous. Even when they it didn't, even when you didn't know what <laughs> it was in the beginning. Once you got to the to the um to the register, you know, it, it kind of made sense. And they had remember they had the sale going on at that time: buy three, get one piece free, or something like that. That's how I got my leather pants from you. Oh, yes, because yeah, go ahead. So my. <laughs> My favorite piece, okay, so I'm going to talk about, not. it's not a favorite piece, but it's a piece that these two thrifting divas are trying to get me to rock, and, you know, we'll see. So, it's a different, it's different for me. It's, I, I'll be honest, it's not something that I would immediately pick up for myself. So, it has the crinoline at the bottom. It fits it's perfect, beautiful. right? It does fit perfect. It's a great size. It's just, you know, look at the... 80s prom dress look here. But, you know, I say it on my blog, so, you know, you got to walk the walk and walk, whatever, walk the talk or talk the walk, whatever you say. But I say, you know, think outside the box. And, you know, this is not something I would wear all the time, but Wendy told me, um, try it with a crop denim jacket, which I do have, and I'm going to try it. You know, I don't know where I'm going to wear it. I'm not going to wear it with my husband because I don't <laughs> I can't do it with the jokes. I can't right now. But I'm going to try it. And I'm going to, when I do wear this one, I'm going to. I and I, who, found, who found it for you again? So this was, <laughs> this was um, one of the divas on this show right now. Okay. Oh. <laughs> and my it's other favorite dress. piece from it is beautiful. Well, The other favorite piece from there was, um, these are, Genuine Gap um, leather pants that actually fit like, you know, like skinny jeans. They so fit cute. perfect, not a tear in it, perfect, perfect condition. And I have been on the hunt for a pair of leather pants since I've been thrifting years. I have never come across a pair of leather pants that's fit me. And because Council Thrift was having this amazing sale, I was able to get this free. <laughs> because Karen had bought enough pieces that this pair became free. So thank you, Karen. Um, and I love it. I can't wait to wear these, which will be in a couple weeks in New York City. Woo Yay! Okay, and so then after that, I mean, yes, we were shopping literally all day. <laughs> but we didn't stop there. We went to Zoe's Vintique. Mm -hmm. And I think we spent the most time there because we were blown away by the selections, the amount of things. I mean, she just kept bringing things out. Like, <laughs> where she kept it this wine. stuff? She had wine and cupcakes, too. So that helps. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, so I will let Wendy start it off. How did you think Zoe's Vintique was, and what was your favorite thing there that you got? Well, I've always knew the moment I would walk into her boutique, I would love it. Um, from what I see on Facebook and social media, I got this Angaro dress. Let me tell you the details of this dress. And it, thanks to Corinne, Corinne did find it for me. It's lace. I don't, I don't think... This will do justice. Can you see it? Yeah. I can see the lace. Yeah. Can you see the, the sleeves? Mm-hmm. It's almost I like the lace. I'm this yeah. to a wedding that I'm going to in the summer. Yeah, it's going to be gorgeous. Yeah. Beautiful. You're going to steal the show, Wendy. It's a beautiful dress. <laughs> and that was my favorite from Zoe's Vintique. Okay. And you, but you bought more pieces, but that was one of your favorites, you say? Yes. Okay. Corinne? My favorite, I was having such a hard time fitting stuff that, that weekend. I don't know what was going on with my body. But 
I think this is one of Wendy's. Well, let me say this. Wendy got the royal treatment. <laughs> I Wendy was Wendy. Wendy was whisked whisked away to the to the dressing room. Pieces were being brought into her while we were all looking for our own. Wendy was Wendy was pretty woman on on, on Rodeo Drive. Okay, <laughs> she was. She was. Honey, okay. What? Let me bring something else that I know. I know will look good on you. Yes. And you know what? She was right on point with everything. Everything she brought out was totally my style. And that's what I like about her. It shows mm -hmm. that she pays attention to all my pictures that I post all day on Facebook. <laughs> she was going to start mailing it to you. So I said all that to say when I, when I went into the dressing room to try on a dress, there was many pieces in the dressing room that were... <laughs> was like, oh, I don't want this one. I don't want this one. But I'm glad she did because I came home with this Bell Blast from Neiman Marcus Vintage. And it's like a tuxedo style dress. The front is um, very low cleavage. And as some of you know, I love showing my, you know, my cleavage. And it has eight buttons, and these buttons are very ornate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The bling a bit, nice satin trim on the pockets, and then the back is um, just sheer in the back. Mm. So I have the perfect shoes for that. We don't wear the same size, Wendy. No, I have the perfect shoes for it. Oh, so you want to... Okay, we can... <laughs> <laughs> you, you have a couple of pieces on one anyway, so... <laughs> But this is like a really cute dress. Like if you if you're doing um black and you want to kind of take it to another level, I think this would be a cute dress for that. It is, it is cute. It it fits you perfect too. Yeah, yeah. It fits me even better now because you know. <laughs> <laughs> My other favorite piece from um from her store is this maxi skirt. Mm -hmm. It's Black, and it has like this gold mesh on both sides and then right on the pockets as well. And then I'm very tall and this skirt is the perfect length for me. It has a little slit on the side and it's almost like a high waist, high waist style. So those are my two favorite pieces from Zoe. I have um, two of my favorite was, well, definitely this, um, this statement necklace. My, yes. hus my husband just called it Sheba. <laughs> don't, don't even. Don't encourage it. But anyway, um, love this necklace. And as I said, she has a lot of um, jewelry there. Yes. So definitely a lot of things. And then my second favorite was this tuxedo. Um, oh, yes, yes. Oh, my goodness. A tailcoat. A tailcoat, yes. And the, it, the tail goes really long, so it hits... The, Probably past my um my knees in the back, so it it's beautiful and it's sleeveless, so I could definitely see a lot of ways to rock this very shortly with the nice weather here finally. Um and so that was my favorite piece because I just think it's just so unique. You're not gonna see too many people with that. Um and it's all about being a diva. Yeah. So that was my favorite at Zoe's Vintage. And um, so that was on Friday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we still did shopping on Saturday. <laughs> I mean, this weekend was for definitely not for those who don't like to shop. <laughs> because <laughs> you would have had to take the plane back home. <laughs> but we went on Saturday. Um, I have never visited this person before. She actually had a vintage shop, um, EA Vintage, out here in San Diego. And so we visited her house, and she had a selection of pieces, mostly vintage pieces, that she had out for us. And we were able to get some really cool different pieces. And so I'm going to start it off. Corinne, what did you think of EA Vintage, and did you get anything that you really liked? Yes, she had. When she opened up that garage, and we saw <laughs> the back, I was like, oh, my God. Remember the picture. Vintage overload. Oh yes, and then of course she showed us her rack of favorites, and we were dying over all this stuff. And she told us 
<laughs> a picture, right? And she said, remember the picture. <laughs> well, yeah, because so, who tried it on? Someone tried on one of her favorite, <laughs> her own personal favorite. Yeah. It was a skirt. She There was a skirt that Corinne had tried on. It was a beautiful print skirt. Gorgeous. But it's hers. It, it wasn't for sale. And so yeah, her she's... response was like, remember the picture. Remember the picture. Because you're not getting it. Getting it. She has some great pieces, and hopefully, you know, we'll have a chance to visit her, um, visit her again. But yeah, I would I, definitely go visit her if we went back. Yes, I would. And I got this Hawaiian. What's what's it? I just um, see boho chic. It's like a boho boho chic type dress. Right. This love the um the prints. It is um authentic Hawaii Hawaiian. Yes, yeah, made in Hawaii. Beautiful color. And I got this for twenty dollars. Got for twenty dollars from her. Okay. Okay. That was my favorite piece from EA Vintage. Karen, what about you? You mean Oh, you mean Wendy. I'm Wendy. sorry, Wendy, what about you? <laughs> I don't have my pieces with me, sorry. but I'm in a belt. <laughs> Put that wine glass down. <laughs> I did get a belt. She does have amazing accessories. I, I give her that. She had some clutches that I wanted to take from her, but they weren't for sale. <laughs> Remember the picture. Remember the picture. So I got just a few things. <laughs> I got this purse that, oh, yeah. Uh, Jeez, I love this purse. And, you know, I like it a lot. One, the design is different. Two, it has a nice handle on there, so I could actually hold it. It doesn't have to be a clutch. Um, and it's big enough to, you know, to actually be used with any type of outfit. So really, really like this. And I think she gave this to me for, because she gave us a discount, but this ended up coming costing me about $15, which love, 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 love this purse. And then... As Wendy said, she did have really cute accessories, and I did get a belt. Um, look at this with the feather. Yeah, that's cute. Isn't this cute? I mean, you just, I mean, this is going to be so cute with anything. With like um, Thinking with one of a jumper or something that I have, but that's what I like there. And then my last piece that I, well, I got two pieces, um, two shirts there, but this um, shirt. Oh, you did get it. I thought you left that. No. So this oh. is the, this is actually the front, and then these are the shoulder pieces. Yes. You know. And so, as the running joke for the entire weekend with Karen and with um, Wendy and I was, I mean, all I need to do is throw this on with some skinny jeans and some pumps. Oh. <laughs> That's an inside joke. It's an inside job, but you know, you it it actually works in this case. Some skinny jeans and some pumps, and then my other shirt that I got, which actually Wendy has the exact same shirt. Um, I sure do. This uh, <laughs> shirt that I a blouse that um that I really like the accordion, like the piano effect in the front, black mm -hmm. black and white classic, loved it. And so um, from EA Vintage, really really cute. And that will look awesome with some skinny jeans and some pumps. <laughs> All the time. Oh, so we, so that was, um, you know, basically it for shopping. We also, one of the things that we did, Corinne and I did some swapping. And Corinne bought me some pieces from Atlanta, from her own personal wardrobe. And in turn, for, all, for each piece that I took, she then took a piece away from me. <laughs> and, you know, I didn't realize it was so hard to give away clothes, but I guess it is. But um, I'm glad that it went to an awesome place like that, and can't wait to see how she runs. I'm only going to show. I'm only going to show a few pieces because I don't want Ayana to, you know, cry. <laughs> but I have been enjoying them very much. Do you remember this laser, Ayana? Yeah, I have pictures in it, so I'll remember the picture. 
I love it. I love <laughs> this leather. Oh my Remember god. The picture. Yeah. I really love that one. Ooh, black and white. Open back. I haven't worn this one yet. I haven't worn this one yet, but I love it. Love it, love it. <gasps> <laughs> Ayanna, your face. Oh my goodness. <laughs> when I tell you this is amazing and it's now mine. <laughs> then the, the the creme de la creme. <laughs> Drum roll, please. <laughs> I remember she showed this to us on our holiday one, right? Was it during the holiday? Yeah. No, it's mine. <laughs> I got it from the bottom of my heart and soul. I really loved shopping your clothes. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. You're very welcome. At least I know it went to a home deserving of great fashion. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, I Corinne brought me some pieces, and um, let's see. I have just about three pieces here that I really like. This jumper. <gasps> that belt. Cute with it. You should try that belt. With oh, the, the one with the feathers. Yes. Yes. Oh. Look at that. So it's actually a romper, I guess you could call it a romper, but really cute satin material. Love it. Um, I've been eyeing this blazer from her ever since she wore it on one of our thrift link up. And so she bought it for me, and it looks, it's beautiful. As mm -hmm. it was on her, it will be on me. Yes. And um, I don't own Pussy Bow, um, anything Pussy Bow, actually. So she brought me a piece, and I really like the color, the, the, the details, really pretty. And last but not least, I mean, she, one of the other favorite pieces for me was this um, two-piece short, um, kind of gold and cream with mm -hmm. a top. And I already um, have this set out to wear somewhere this weekend, so I, mm -hmm. it's going to be 89 degrees in um, San Diego this weekend, so I am wearing this with my um, gold pumps that I just you just showed we just got from It's a Wrap. Oh, perfect, perfect. So I am set. I I'm not shopping till May. That is it. Yes. I have done all my shopping for like the last three months. I am shopped out, can you believe? And so now it's just to wear these awesome pieces until my next shopping in New York City in May. Yes. I want to say one more thing about your beautiful city. It rained. <laughs> Disappointed because I know a song that says it doesn't rain in Southern California. And it hasn't rained was... since <laughs> you left. <laughs> yeah, but we had, we had a great time. Thanks for hosting us. It was great no to problem. meet your friend. and to meet you in person. It is, and I'm very excited about coming down there in June and yeah. seeing the Atlanta scene, um, the dollar shops, the fifty cent shops. <laughs> Whatever it is, I'm there with my quarters. <laughs> All you need is a roll of quarters. <laughs> All your, my laundromat quarters. <laughs> well, <laughs> hope you guys had a great time listening to us and seeing some of the pieces that we um, got. And if you have a chance, if you're in this area, to check it out. Uh, if not, maybe I'll see you in Atlanta if you're watching from on the East Coast. See you in Atlanta when I come out there the next time. Okay, signing out. Bye. Bye, bye, bye ladies. Bye.